What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Vintage Cube Draft. Look at this. Look at this natural order, this portal art natural order. Or is this starter? It's either starter or portal. We, yes, we've had stream, but what about second stream? <laughs> That's a solid Lord of the Rings reference. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I kind of like, like natural order. I feel like we haven't gone green in a while. I want to take the natural order. We're going to go green here, which gives us a Sika's Chariot. Not much else, but it also cuts off a lot of green signals. Maybe Grove or Omen or Vista comes back rather. Not Omen. I don't even know what Omen is. That's just a card I made up. Y'all taking a Sika's Chariot. There is a Sword of the Meek. Um... Probably just taking Devoted Druid. We could audible to Sword and then hope we get the Thopter Foundry, but uh, we're not going to do that. We're just going to take the Devoted Druid. Oh, Noble Hierarch and a Titania. And a Shorukai. God, you know I love this card. We could have had Sword of the Meek, Genesis Engine. Man, we could have been living the dream. I don't think green necessarily means we're going to be sacking lands, but I do want to have a Noble Hierarch. I do want those cheap creatures that we can uh, sacrifice the natural order to get things like Prime Evil Titan. Very easy pick. If Wayfinder comes back, I'd, I'd, that'd be super great. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Three cards coming back. It might be Wayfinder, Imperial Seal, and Clearing. Those are my guesses. Where did you download MTGO? Um, If you go to MTGO.com, I think it's MTGO.com. Let me double check. Yep, mtgo.com in the upper right, there's a button that says download now and you can click that. For sure, glad I could help. Glad you found it. And now we wait. So this is Legacy Cube. This is how you're gonna get this is how you get timed out. Another little treat for me. <laughs> yeah. This guy is this guy is great. As a three drop, this guy is phenomenal. A three four for three with vigilance that you can also uh Make a million mappers. Map it up and map it out. Oh, Nissa? Sure. This is going well. I think all the green cards we've taken so far have been quite good. Spelunking is cute, but I think I'm just taking this Nissa for the mono greens. Ulvenwald Oddity or Dryad? Fascinating. Dryad means we can take Valakut. Yeah, I think it's better than Olvenwald Oddity for sure. Oh, wow. Elvish Mystic came back? Great. <laughs> okay. Well, our deck is built. All nine of these are playable. The Grove came back, which is what we wanted. Might be Grist, though. Yeah, I think Grist is going to be better than Grove here. Sure, I'll take Pilgrim. Why not? Titania came back. Fantastic. Okie dokie. Well, we got everything. Oh, there's the Wayfinder. Okay, so I had Wayfinder, Silent Clearing, and Prism. So two out of three. That was pretty good. Knight? Sure. <laughs> Every one of these is playable, man. Oh, Lord. We also have Knight of, of Reliquary to go with Titania. And we have both Pilgrim and Noble Hierarch to help cast it. Sure. Well, there's a Crater Hoof. And no power, so I feel good about taking that crater hoof. Give me that hoof. Yeah, we're just gonna old school hoof it, man. <laughs> Second pick Zurin Orb. I, oh, that seems pretty good with Titania. Yeah, I'll just take that. And I, I guarantee you one of these two will, will come back. Okay, well, 
I feel like we're doing well here. I don't. I think we're gonna have. I think we're gonna be over on playables. There's a Gaia's Cradle. <laughs> Fantastic. Let's take Gaia's Cradle. Guarantee void in Tennessee. In Tennessee, you just don't get enough playables. So we'd actually lose money if we made that guarantee in Tennessee. Gaia's Cradle. Sometimes just let it sit there because I'm like, there's, maybe there's something else that worth, worth looking at. And there's not. So right now we've gotten Crater Hoof Natural and Gaia's Cradle, which I think are three of the four, not, not four, but three of the, the best cards you want when you're playing Mono Green. I like Kogla. Torsten is also pretty sweet, and I can easily see splashing a white for it. I think Torsten is better. Plus, triple green Kogla might come back. So might Wall of Roots. I'm going to take the Torsten. And we can also natural order for Torsten, which is pretty sweet. Uh, yeah, this pack is interesting. There is Ugin, which I think is fine, especially if we get a channel. Orzo, thank you for the sub, buddy. Welcome... It said it said first time chatter Orzo MTG, but that doesn't seem correct. Yeah, I'm gonna take Ugin. I'm not a big exploration fan. Oh, Savannah's actually pretty nice. This is just gonna be my big pile so that we can look at. I, I think it might be Savannah here because it makes any fetch land good, and fetch lands are gonna be good with Titania already. And it lets us play Knight of the Reliquary. I would take Titan of Industry, but we already have three of these. Celestia Sanctuary is interesting. First time catching a stream, is that true? Where do I recognize your name? Is it a YouTube comment? Is it YouTube comments? Is that where I'm used to it? Uh, just taking this Nissa. I think this Nissa is also really good. Gruff's Triplets. Oh man, Coveted Jewel is also interesting. I don't know if I want to risk a Coveted Jewel. Coveted Jewel scares me to be honest. Let's try Gruff's Triplets again. What the hell? Wow, this pack's this pack's brutal. My fam finally left. Thank God. Thank God. I'm gonna take Mystic Confluence. Whatever. Oh look, Lanowar Elf and Sakura Tribuilder came back. We'll take Lanowar Elf. You want the <laughs> Sylvan Caryatid came back? Sure. <laughs> Kogla came back. Okay. <laughs> okay, our deck is done. So let's uh, go to round one, I guess. Uh, Mosswood Dreadnight, bring what, bring to light. Bring to light is interesting when we have Dryad of the Elysian Grove. Whatever. Titan of Industry came back anyway. Fantastic. Celestia Sanctuary came back anyway. Okie dokie. <laughs> That's oh lord. Oh lord. Soaring Black Lotus Mox Emerald. Deck is looking pretty decent. <laughs> there, there it is. There it is. <sighs> also, Mox Pearl for the white splash. Fantastic, dude. That's hilarious. Okie dokie. Mox Emerald it is. On color Mox in this beautiful deck. I mean, I'd like to take Green Sun, but I'm not passing a Mox Ruby, so guess we'll take that. Double Mox? Sounds good. I'm in. In for a penny, in for a pound. That's what they say, right? <sighs> Green Sun probably wheels. There was a card in that pack I, I really wanted, Windswept Heath. I thought that would have been great for us. And it's probably just Birds of Paradise, right? Three people saying green sun on a wheel. Yeah, that's probably true. <laughs> I think it's bird here. I'd play the bird over the Avacyn's Pilgrim for sure. I Like, portal's good, but I just don't think we need it. Plus, we can only we can, we can only ramp into it. We can't actually, like, seek it out. I really just want channel. Oh, Wooded Foothills is great. That actually gets us a red source if we want to splash anything red, but it also gets us our savanna. So that's actually really good. 
that's a pretty easy pickup because we don't think we need tireless tracker here. I actually love this guy. Five mana for this dude. Oh yeah, we're taking that guy. We could take ramming up excavator, but I don't think we're leaning that heavily into Titania. I'd rather just have this five drop that lets us cast like Torsten, Craterhoof, Kogla, Gruff, Primeval. These guys can go on the sideboard as well. So this is actually 23. I bet ramming up does wheel. Man, this is a... Let's put Avacyn's Pilgrim because we have like four really good mana dorks here. Honestly, it might be... Actually, Pilgrim might be better than like Llanowar Elf. Fascinating. I think it's actually Sylvan Safekeeper, especially with Titania. Just being able to protect your guys seems really good. Jitte's cool, but... Woodfall Prime. Actually, I do like Temple Garden here, especially if we're splashing for white. Are we? I don't know. I might like Woodfall Primus better than Ugin. I mean, reason being, like, these are three very different effects. This is card advantage, this is destroying permanence, and this is just winning the game. Thank you. <laughs> okay, there it is. There's the, there's the sweetie boy. Knight is good with Titania. I mean, channel. Sure. <sighs> Give me one Eldrazi at this point. Just one Emrakul, dude. It's never going to happen. Hey, Saru, thank you for the sub, buddy. Welcome back. We'll just take Garrick, I guess. Sure. <sighs> this is too many cards, man. We also have Titan of Industry on the sideboard, Knight of the Reliquary, which is fine. Yeah, like the channel makes me want to keep Ugin. Oh, that was loud. Yep, there's Green Sun. Great. More like Great Sun Zenith. I'll take Nature's Claim, I guess. We did not get a Rufellos. Oh, Tireless Tracker just comes back. <sighs> what the fuck, dude? This is a 60 card deck now. Ramming up Excavator comes back. Not a single person is playing green cards. This is unbelievable. Jesus. Sort by mana value. Oh my god. Nature's Claim is sideboard material. This guy's kind of meh. Deal scam to player, surveil one, then return a land from your graveyard to the battlefield tapped. This is whenever a land is put into the graveyard, it dies. Yeah, I want to put Devoted Wayfinder, deep, deep Root Wayfinder over here. I'll put Dryad over here. I don't think it's good enough when we're this heavily white. Nissa is more like a five drop. I'm, I think it's Channel Ugin. I think that sounds weird, but like Channel doesn't do much when we only have one colorless card. And that cuts two cards for us. We also have Green Sun. I also don't have a ton of lands to even get with Ramunap. I might just cut the Titania package. I just think it's kind of cute here. Like, that saves us. We lose Titania, we lose Zernorb, we lose Ramunap. But that's actually gives us 24, which I think is totally fine. <laughs> with four one drops, a devoted druid carry out of a channel. Everything else seems really good. And we get to keep the Ugin in. Uh, Sylvan can go, but we don't really need it to. There's nothing else I would put in instead. I assume you're saying Sylvan carry added, but I mean, like, it's still, it's, oh, Sylvan safekeeper. That's right. Yeah, good call. Yeah, maybe we just play Knight of the Reliquary, but that's not as good without Titania. Or, yeah, Titania.
Hmm. Yeah, so the only green, the only white we need is for Torsten, and we can just natural order into Torsten as well, or Green Sun Zenith. Um, we can also Green Sun Zenith into Grist, which is kind of cool. But as far as casting it, we only need Sylvan Carry added, and we only have Sylvan Carry added in Birds of Paradise. Put in Hell Rider. <laughs> Could also just bring in Titan of Industry. I mean, we do have enough, like, nonsense. I don't hate it. It gives us a bunch of like, it gives us a bunch of top end stuff. What the hell? Do we play Celestia Sanctuary? I don't think so. Uh, no, none of those. 11 of those. So this is 14 lands, two moxes, so 16 lands total. Plus, having the Titan of Industry is also good with this, with Osier, Osier Kaslam. All right, this is this is a wild, a wild ride. I'm gonna screen cap it as well, so I know what I'm looking at when I when I go to Green Sun. I might as well do the whole deck, right? This deck looks pretty sweet. Fingers crossed that it actually does anything, huh? Eh. All right, here we go. Huh. Well, 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 well. I kept this hand. I know some people might disagree. I might even disagree. But we have a lot of things we can draw. They went to five. We're playing against Eye of Ugin himself. This can definitely be the five five card hand, right? Also, it's a twenty turn clock with noble hierarch. So, what problem is you know? Free him, good game. Yeah, I didn't want to say anything, but it's not good. Wow, you snuffed. Wow. Channel. I didn't even want channel there. I don't know why I said it. It's just a turn two draw. I wouldn't be able to play anything. Come on. Okay. Uh-oh. Inti. Tide Hollow Sculler. That's fine. I, mean, I think it's Primeval Titan here. But Kogla gets rid of this guy, so it might be Kogla. Yeah, there you go. That makes sense. Oh, what up, Techno Orange? Techno Orange, if you will. <laughs> yeah, they're looking good. They're looking good. Our hand did not pay off. Wait. Did he just skip their combat phase? Everybody's winning. We're doing great. Oh, that's interesting. One, two. This doesn't do anything. But if we can hit one more land. Well, they missed they missed an attack, which is just fantastic. It makes up for all those draws, you know? They're like, you know what? I'll do you a favor. Bitter triumph. Seems good.
There's a lot of creatures you're playing, man. And they have a Mox Emerald. Okay, great. Just great. Land? The one time I wanted a land. Oh, Lord. Are we dead here? I think we're just dead. That snuff out was very timely. So this is what? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. If they kill this, it's 10, 11. We go to... Four? It's not great. It's not very good, is it? They got a swamp, sure. Well, I assume if you had a spell, you would have played it pre-combat, so I'm just going to block this monk token. Paying costs. Fantastic. We're just going to go to the next game. That was that was a sad start, I'll be honest. I kept a, I kept a very questionable hand. I totally accept that. Um, I don't actually like Channel. I don't think it's good. I think I'd rather have Wayfinder. I don't know. It's a guy that blocks. I'm eating banana pudding with whipped cream and Nilla wafers. <laughs> Excuse me. Only Kerwit can say what he's eating in the chat. That's his brand. I ate some tacos. We went to a local Italian restaurant for dinner with Katie's parents. And it's literally impossible to get them not to pay. They're just some super generous folks, you know? I will play first. I'm going to keep this because we have a Garrick, and I think Garrick is pretty good. That was their mold of five, though, so, you know, if we couldn't beat that. Okay. Just let this devoted druid live. I think a Tide Hollow Skuller, that seems fine. Valky. Okay. I mean, they're never going to be able to activate either one of these, so it seems, seems, seems just fine. Untapping into Nissa seems very good here. Crater Hoof. Smart. This is five. We can go four. We have one floating on tap two. No, we're not doing that. All right, so now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. Garrick is basically free. It's pretty good. There are piles of hookers and blow everywhere. Knowing you, that's the exact last thing there are going to be piles of in your apartment. They're going to vindicate. Yep. <laughs> Okie dokie. Well, we do not get to use our precious mana. That was... Kind of a bummer. Hey, 
Yeah, that's pretty good. Okie dokie. What if I drew lands? One, two, three, four, five, six. We have six mana. Much worse than three mana, you see. These draws have been very suspect. Uh, Mega Beast. Mike is at work. Or Mike is asleep. It's 10.40 and he has to work tomorrow. You guys really need to use context clues and ask for my clothes. Is it between the hours of 9 and 5? He's at work. Is it after 10 p.m.? He's asleep. Yep. And now they're going to kill something. Yep, of course. <sighs> Really? I mean, might as well save Garrick, right? Not sure how I win this game, but... <laughs> That's not going to do it. Well, I mean, we're not dead. If we draw, like, natural order, it's actually pretty good. Just get, like, Titan of Industry, I guess. I don't know. Like, them having the Monarch for this long and us not being able to draw anything but fat idiots and uh, one ramp. Like, it's just, I don't know. This feels like it's just not the correct sequence. All at Garrick? Sure. Natural order off the top one time. Sure. <laughs> Knock yourself out, man. Uh... Yes, natural order, you can... I mean, you're sacrificing a creature. It's a green creature, so yes. Yep. Fantastic. <sighs> sure. Why not? <laughs> uh, yeah. Discarding Taurus tonight because I have the, the weird feeling they're going to reanimate it. And I didn't want them to reanimate Crater Hoof because then they just kill us. So, joke's on you. We're in the same position we were. Man, where's a toxic deluge when you need one? I mean, they've only drawn like seven extra cards, so. Primeval Titan, great. Fantastic. Great draws, great sequence of lands, great sequence of creatures, great all around. All right, let's try round two. This seems like a keeper just because of Green Sun. We can go Green Sun on two into Tracker and Land and Woodfall on three. Woodfall. Wooded Foothills. Wooded Foothills Landfall is what that was supposed to say. Okay. 
Oh, I lowered all the volume too, so I can't hear anything. That's better. Oh no. Big fan. We'll be dead soon. So what do you go with Green Sun? Birds of Paradise? Probably Noble Hierarch, right? They're both O1s. They're both producing the same amount of colors, essentially. So next turn we can go Tracker into Foothills, get a Forest, two Clusels. That's good. That's a, that's a good card. That's a good one too. Next turn they have three, four, five, six, seven mana. Why? What's the point of even being green if you can just have eight mana on next turn? Interesting. We're just going to play something. Hmm. Hanger back walker. Boy, that's fascinating, isn't it? Fascinating. That's fascinating. This guy. This guy. This guy. Well, next turn we have five, so we can play Nissa. Would have loved to have an extra land this turn so I could actually crack a clue. Okay. All right. Well, <laughs> that's, I think it's Gruff's triplets here. Like, Kogla's great, but if they don't have something we can... F like, if their guy's just bigger, it's going to be bad for us. And I feel like it's going to be bigger. Hmm. <laughs> oh, Arch Trigger's first. Oh, that's actually pretty good, because now we can sacrifice Triplet, Triplet, Noble, right? Where's the tokens? These two are the tokens. So one, two, three. Might have been worth sacking Tireless Tracker for two six sixes, actually. That might have been better. Uh, let's go one, two, three, five, three, four, five, right? What am I missing? Oh, I lost the noble. Never mind. That's silly. Well, that is unfortunate. Oh, that's very good. Well, I was hoping to hit a land here, and I definitely hit a good one. Do we play land this turn? I don't even know what's going on anymore. All right, you get back a noble hierarch. Sounds good. All right, fingers crossed. They just don't have much good stuff after that. Yeah, I definitely should have kept the two gruff triplets and not the tireless tracker, I think. For some reason, I thought it would have been bigger, but I forgot they're, if they're sacked at the same time, they're both three threes. Sacking one would have made the other two six sixes, and then we'd have two six sixes on board, and if you kill one, we get a 12 12, so they have to kill both. But man, putting putting gruff triplets into play with portal was, or uh, with show and tell was pretty decent. Definitely worked out okay, I think. What 
do we have next turn? One, two, three, four, six mana. I mean, we're definitely Nissa and negative wanting to kill the portal whenever we get a chance. Steel Seraph, sure. I mean, this dude's a 9 9, right? Hmm. Well, interesting. We get another clue. They only have six total power. I kind of want to do this now. Okay, so here's the thing. If we do it post-combat, they might be able to block and kill this guy. But then we... I think that's fine. So what if we go three here, play Sentinel. This is three, four. We'd be one shy. We can also play Kogla. That's not great. Yeah, I think we just attack here. They kind of have to block. Sure. Great. I think they're going to try to get this guy back, and that's that was that was what I was banking on. Because we're just going to play Nissa here for... for this much, and then destroy portal. Yeah, I feel like we're in good shape here. That's a lot of mana. That's a good one. Cradle versus Academy. The age-old battle. Five mana. What's it going to be? What is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Very close to Crady Hoof. Oh, we make a guy and then we can Crater Hoof for eight. Oh, that's pretty good. Assuming they don't mess with Nissa or any of our creatures, then we're going to be hoofing, you know? Get busy hoofing. That seems fine. I don't think I care about that. Sword of the Meek. Sacrifice sword, get Thopter Foundry. Actually, that's not how that works. I'm just untapping too, sure. This is a lot of mana. What? Warm Coil. That's fine. I can't imagine that's good enough. Crater Hoof is like, what, five, and then plus three, plus four, plus four to everything, so nine. Yeah, that's got to be the end, right? Wow. No, that's not going to do it. Land plus Nissa. And then what? This is what? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight? Sure, let's do that. I'm just gonna do it. <laughs> okay. All right. So let's let's do the math. 13 plus 7, 29, 36, 38. Uh, yeah, I think that would have been it. All right, so that's more like it. Let's bring in Nature's Claim, because they have a bunch of artifacts. Um, take out Channel. I actually don't think this is a good Channel deck. A-B-H. Always be huffing. Every time it takes a little longer, I'm like, did I submit my deck? Let's 
See, I'm still wondering. Still wondering if we submitted our deck. Did we do it? We did. Oof. That's an oof. That's an oof to Mulligan. That's better. I think we ship Ugin, especially because they have a million artifacts. I mean, this is pretty good. This is a turn one Hierarch, and then turn two we can get something like Devoted Druid. That's pretty good. Oh, Jesus. You have Mana Crypt, Soul Ring, Grim Monolith. That's really good, man. Wow, turn turn one Golos. <laughs> Okie dokie. Seems good. Yeah, Caracas. That's also good. But look at me. Look what I did. Kapow. I mean, they could just lose to their own Mana Crypt, you know? They lost the flip. Basically dead. Uh, what can we get for two? Sylvan Carry added or Devoted Druid. That's not good. And this guy just attacks? Come on. Just gonna replay Golos every turn. Wow, this is a this is a start, man. This is a hell of a start. Sure. Oh boy. Come on, natural. Nat oh man, I, my my kingdom for like something for two that kills an artifact. I think we're just devoted druiding here. Gives us the most mana. Right now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we can play Torsten or Titan, Titan of Industry next turn. Titan could be good. Make a four, four, kill your, kill your Golos. What are the odds that's going to happen? Feels low. I will not block. So they have five mana for regular stuff and eight mana for artifact stuff. And they have more cards than we do? Oh boy. This is a revolting development. That's good for us because it means they can't crack us it back. But it means they also probably have 14 counter spells for us, huh? Counter spell. Yeah, it never fails. Didn't want to cast one spell this game. Yep. Fantastic. Okie dokie. Fun interactive magic. <laughs> oh boy.
Well, they don't have much to do with their... No, I mean, that's not necessarily true. I was going to say they can't activate Golos, but uh, it came out as they don't have much to do with their mana, but I, I don't know that for sure, so... <sighs> Good times. Hmm. Yeah, let's go to the next game. We're not going to fucking play this when you upheaval and keep six mana floating. Like, come on. <laughs> come on, dude. Oh, boy. I don't know. I feel like this section of the deck helps cast this section of the deck. It's a lot. And we're just not drawing enough for the first half. Sure. I mean, like, where's the three or a four drop? We have, like, a good amount. We have one, two, three, four, five, three or four drops. I mean, five is fine, but it's a little slow, man. Give me a Devoted Druid or a Sylvan Curry added. And then I won't ask for anything else. Wow, every game, huh? Sure. <laughs> Okie dokie. Worm Coil on turn one, huh? Walking Ballista. Fucking fantastic. Cool. It's really sad when you literally get the best possible green cards you can expect to get and you still can't win a match. Kind of frustrating. It makes me think that the green deck is just inherently like, they've just fucked it up too much. <laughs> like, we also didn't see any Eldrazi for channel. I mean, I guess that's one thing, but like, we also didn't see Rafelos, which, which would have been good. But I mean, again, these situations like doesn't really matter if like, they walking ballista on turn two or turn one rather <laughs> oh lord yep seems good great of all the cards in the deck it had to be another six drop couldn't have been a four drop or a three drop that we could have played yep What are the odds we're going to draw Torsten next turn? Because it's a it's a card we can't cast. Pretty high? 100%. Okay, sure. <laughs> the deck just does fucking nothing. It does absolutely nothing because you just can't draw anything. Oh, Lord, man. I think we just take a green card. Like, take one of the, the top-end cards out and put, uh, like, Deep Root Wayfinder in instead just to... I mean, we have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen cards we could have played this turn. Two moxes, uh, birds is gone. Mystic, elf, noble hierarch, devoted druid, sylvan carry added, nature's claim, sentinel, tireless tracker, Asiga's chariot, Garrick, or natural order. And uh, now they have their third blue, so they're going to cryptic command this. If we played this last turn, we would have been fine, but now they get to Cryptic Command it, so. They're going to choose their little modes. Yep. Never don't have Cryptic Command in hand when I cast my first spell of the game. Yep, congratulations. Cool. And deck. We're just taking out the channel. I don't think it's good. Um, take out Ugin as well. 
Put in just like a creature that we can do stuff with. Maybe Dryad. Actually, Dryad seems good. I mean, the reason I like Dryad here is just because it lets us play more lands, and like clearly we're just going to draw multiple lands every game, so. What do I take out? I take out Ugin and Channel. Yeah, let's bring in two things, I guess. All right. Maybe we can one two with this deck that I thought was very, very good. I mean, it's good for a green deck, right? We have Natural Order, Gaia's Cradle, uh, Green Sun Zenith, ton of good top end. We did get Channel. Uh, we got Primeval Titan, lots of one mana dorks, double mocks. But like, I don't know, when our opponents are like, turn on Mishra's Factory, Mishra's Workshop, Mana Crypt, Golos, find Caracas, bounce Golos, replay Golos. Like it's, I don't know. I, I'm not sure many decks could deal with that. great <laughs> i mean I, I, you know the the dryad helps here we go turn one bird turn two dryad play both lands and then we're actually in a little better shape for the the primeval titan yeah okay that's good so next turn we just get to dump everything you know theoretically this into this into this into this I mean, that, that presumes that they don't just kill the bird on sight. Okay. Hmm. Oh, wow, that's interesting. Okay. Well, we do get to Primeval Titan next turn. You know, assuming they don't kill all of our things with a Toxic Deluge. Hmm. Man, remember that time we had Natural Order in the deck? <laughs> if I could draw a Natural Order, the same frequency my opponent can draw Misha's Workshop, Mana Crypt, Soul Ring in their opening hand, we'd be in really good shape. Pumping to three. Pumping to four. Sure. No blocks. Okay, that's... That seems fine. Now we're just going to play Kogla. So, one, two. Oh my god, that's annoying. I mean, of course, if they Damnation or Wrath of God or Dam or Toxic Deluge here, it's pretty bad for us. Might have wanted to play Primeval Titan first because it sets us up for future beefy beaters. That's fine. Yep, that's good. This is nine damage. They're dead on board. I mean, we're definitely playing Primeval Titan. And it's mostly for the lands. 
I want to be able to have enough lands to actually do things for six and seven. Like if they wipe the board and we just can't cast Primeval Titan because we don't hit a fifth land, it's not worth it. <laughs> so, all right. Well, that was that was a game. <laughs> okay, eh, I think this is fine. Okay, we have a turn one, two turn one things. I will keep this hand. And then we have a turn two thing into another turn two thing. We can play all of this by turn two, so that's, that's nice. Okay, you get to hit one of the two cards we can play. Sure. Obnoxious. Yep, that was the correct choice. Gruff's triplets. I mean, Wooded Foothills is pretty good with Deep Root Wayfinder. I mean, at least we can keep getting the same land back. Sure. They never have more than two mana. It's very interesting. I guess last game they had three, but it seemed like it was a struggle. Yep, that's fine. Oh, okay. They just post-combat play it. Fascinating. So what do you do? Surveil? Surveil one, then return a land from your grid to the battlefield. Sure. Well, that means we can't do anything. Oh, God. I don't just get to draw this guy? <laughs> Oh, good times. It doesn't, I guess it doesn't matter because like we're shuffling anyway. No, I guess we're not necessarily shuffling him away. Just put him on top. Yes. Land. Yeah, can't do anything. I mean, I actually just don't think I want Tireless Tracker here. Because I'd actually rather hit another land, because then we can play any of our five drops. Yes, that is what we are looking for. This guy's going to be a 2-2. Two -two. Hmm. Hmm. I just play Nyssa. Seems safe. Famous last words. I don't want to take four damage off this one, so... I'm tempted to, to attack with Wayfinder just because I want to get the land back. But if Nissa survives, I don't think we need the land back. If she doesn't, I think we do. She's at six. 
if they kill, if we attack with both and they kill this land, we just lose Nissa too. Yeah, I think we're just attacking with this guy. I think the odds are far likely that they that they either killed yeah they they had the answer guys that they either killed Nissa directly oh they didn't pump their their well, figure destiny that's weird hmm and now they can't make it a four four. That could have been you last turn. That's kind of a big deal. Although if their last card is removal for this Wayfinder. Oh, it's not. Oh, that's really good for us. All right, so I guess we're, we could just win one game here. That's nice. What do we got here? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we could actually go one, two, three, four, Garrick. Right, because this is free. Untap these two. Five, six, seven, eight, nine mana. Three, four, five, six. I do like Gruff's triplets here a lot. Might be better than this Nissa, but maybe not. Yeah, this makes like a 7-7, seven, seven, dude. That seems good. Worth attacking. This costs six, right? Yeah, sure, I'll attack. <laughs> if you want to double block this guy, that's totally fine. I will take out any two of your creatures. Oh, there's an 8-8. Eight, eight. I said a 7-7. Seven, seven. My bad. Yeah, I've definitely seen some Luris as a companion dex. So they're just playing this guy but getting nothing back. Interesting. Can we block my creatures with greater power so our deeper wayfinder can block whatever they have and they have no cards in hand. We have three planeswalkers. Two of them can ultimate this turn. Plus one for each forest you control, so plus three, plus three in trample. Plus three, plus three in trample. This is fascinating. Valky is the ring bearer. Um, block, no, you're gonna become a guy. So you, you, and you. I guess that seems fine. I could actually see blocking Samwise instead because this puts a card in their graveyard that they can potentially use. This is going to be like, I mean, even if this, even if this is like toxic deluge, they have to do it for six and go to five. I mean, we can literally just make a land with haste and then give it double, a double overrun. I don't know. This is. Are you going to fall in Shinobi the Samwise? They could also just Wrath of God, but again, like that, I don't think that does it. We just make a 9-9. Nine nine. We could also just kill their Mox Diamond, which puts them way behind. I don't know, this feels like it's... Luris. They just put Luris in their hand. What? They're dead on board. What? I don't get it. They have one mana. Mm. 
Let's just play it safe and kill this, I guess. Are they going to path? No, I guess not. Okay. Um... Very confusing. Okie dokie, that was a weird win. I don't know, man, this did not go according to plan, but what can you do? Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. I'll see you next time.